All right, guys, it's your man, Jay Will. This is a quick Q&A before I tell you the direction of my channel. So over the years, uh, I've gotten several questions from several different people, and they're pretty, the questions are pretty much the same. Uh, people, uh, the first thing they want to know is, um, uh, how am I able to purchase all of the things that I, I have on the channel that I review? Now, uh, a lot of the accessories and things like that are the real quirky things that you see, like battery packs or just headphones. A lot of those things you'll see me say this is sponsored by or shout out to. That means that they sent me the item and told me I can keep it if I review it. And that's why I do so many giveaways of headphones and speakers and phones and sometimes, uh, phones and things sometimes because I get those free. Uh, but um, that is how I get most of those things. Now, cell phones, I purchase those uh, with the money that I make on YouTube. So how do I get the things on my channel? Some are sent to me and some are purchased with the funds that I get for posting the videos and it runs ads and people watch the videos and if they like it, they thumb it up. If they don't like it, they thumb it down and uh, they still just watch it and that is how I make money on YouTube. This seems to be a very common question still, uh, but that is how it's done. Some YouTubers hate to discuss that. I personally do not care. Uh, when you watch the videos, I make a small portion of money and YouTube takes a big chunk of money <laughs> and they sprinkle me the, the little crumbs that are left and I save it up and then I buy a new product and then I present it back on the channel and I just put it back to the channel. Uh, but that is why I do so many giveaways on certain things. If I do do a giveaway on a phone, it wasn't very expensive for me. It was probably a sub 100 bucks and it was a good phone or it was free. Um, my last giveaway that I just did, I do a video, a big giveaway video at the end of each year, just so you, just so you know. This year's giveaway was great. Shout out to Ice T Man 22. <laughs> I won't say his real name. He might not want me to say his real name on here, uh, but he's his items are with him uh, now, hopefully, or on the way to him at the recording of this video. So I do a very big Christmas giveaway or end of year giveaway every year, and that is where the stuff comes from. I save up a bunch of stuff over the year, and then I put it in a big box and I do a giveaway, or I'll just go purchase a phone or something and give it to you guys. So that is how I get the things on my channel. You watch the video, YouTube takes a big chunk and they sprinkle me a little piece and I save it and then I buy another uh, item for you to, to have. Now, it's all of the things on YouTube uh, that I present to you purchased uh, from YouTube money? No. Uh, like my iPhones and things, those things cost upwards of 1100 bucks, 128 gigs that we have. Uh, the 64 gigs are like 850 or whatever they call it. None of the, some of those things. I don't have the money coming in from YouTube to buy a lot of those things, and so I have to get them myself. But those are things that are. When you see me with um, five iPhones or something like that, more than likely I'm not using all of those. Those are there's someone in my family. I've purchased it for them, uh, and it's a gift for them. Or you know they know that I'm on the channel, so. Uh, I do have three lines. Now, I do have several iPhones, but when you see all the different colors and I'm collecting them, uh, it just means that everybody in my family happens to like a different color that has an iPhone or a different size. So I do have more than one iPhone, yes, but I don't, all those ones that you see me post on uh, Instagram and Twitter and all those, those aren't, I'm not all, they're not all just sitting around anymore. It used to be like that at the beginning of my channel. I was buying a lot of stuff and people already had things and they didn't want it, so it was kind of sitting in the boxes. So, uh, especially the iPhones, I sell the iPhones big time because there's a lot of money to be made on those on resale. That's just why I keep the boxes and everything. I keep them neat and packed away. Now, when it's all the different colors, I don't do that anymore. The iPads is where I stopped. When I had all the different colors of the iPads, I thought, you know what? This is a waste of money. Um, and I was going to do an iPhone, iPad giveaway, but luckily I can give those to family members, you know, so I'll start there. But, um, I do have a lot of devices and after six months to a year, sold sometimes i sell them pretty quickly like within 30 days if i just don't like it or i just feel like i'm not going to use it but um that is how that goes so on to the next uh the next question that i get in my inbox a lot is uh and it's kind of in line piggybacking the one i just just said how, do, how can i afford it which is they people send those separately well i just told you uh, personal money and YouTube money. That's how it's done. Um, uh, a lot of the things that you see on the channel are sponsored by people. Or people just reach out to me um, and they send it to me. They, well, they ask me, do I want to do I want to review it? And I'll say yes or no. I say no more than you could imagine. Uh, sometimes uh, before these last couple surgeries I had, um, I agreed to a lot of things and then they came while I was still in recovery. And I'm still in recovery now. I'm just able to sit up uh, lots of padding, you can't see it, but 
uh, I'm still able to, to I, I had to agree to some things, so I had to do them. So a lot of people thought they were lame. Even I thought they were lame. I was like, well, you know, I shouldn't have said yes to this, but I have to do it. Uh, nonetheless, that is how that goes. Now, the next question I get is people say, how can I start my own YouTube channel? Super easy. You're going to have to invest some money. You're going to have to get something that records very good quality video, uh, a tripod. Don't do videos without a tripod. I I've done it myself. Uh, and don't do videos without with bad lighting. I've done it myself. Uh, scan backwards on every successful person or person you think is successful on YouTube and look at their first videos. You'll say, oh my gosh, they've come a long way, myself included. And I don't delete mine. I leave mine up. Uh, so you can see where how I've grown. Uh, and some of you have been here for, I don't know if there's any YouTubers uh, that are, have been following me since day one. I hear some people throw that out there, but I can actually see how long you've been following me. And I can see your trail. So if you say, oh, I've been following you since day one, I'll be able to see that. There are some people that throw that out there. I've been, I remember when you had 5,000 subscribers or I remember when you had 1,000 subscribers. Well, I've only got like 17,000 now and I've had this channel for years. I just didn't put much into it. But uh, there have been people that have been following me over the years. And so uh, thanks to those people. Comment if you've been on my channel more than five years. And I might have some more Christmas gifts laying around I could get to you. Or put down how long you've been following my channel in the comments. And uh, this way I can see who's paying attention to the videos. <clears throat> Nonetheless, I'm going to do a... Uh, now let's switch gears a little bit. The direction of my channel, uh, I'm getting kind of teched out. So when you run a YouTube channel, if you don't have sponsors to send you the big items, like the new items that come out, like you see all these bloggers and they're reviewing the latest products or they're going to CES... Well, you know, their life permits them to do that. This is a side thing that I do for fun. Would I like to go to CES? Sure, I'd love to go. Uh, but it's not at the top of my list. You know, I'm content with just watching the events on the computer or, you know, whatever. Uh, but a lot of times when you see people reviewing products, those are loner folks. They've sent them out for, for review. <clears throat> Me, on the other hand, I have to wait until they're available. I have to purchase them. The only company that doesn't do that to me is LG. Shout out to LG for always sending me their latest products months before it's available. I signed up for one of their beta programs a long time ago, and they just they email me every year and say, hey, we got a new product coming, and we want to send it to you, so click here, and you can get it in a couple weeks. And I say, okay, great, which is fantastic. Uh, but other than that, the things on the channel are purchased, so, which leads me to this. The direction of my channel is going to shift a little bit. You, you, When you see a, I'm just going to tell you now, when you see a high-end device on my channel, i.e., um, the new Samsung Galaxy Note 5, or Samsung Galaxy Note 6, uh, the new uh, iPhone 7, whatever it's going to be called, the 7S. When you start to see those new items, those are probably upgrades from my personal account. Like They're going to be used. They're going to stay with me. <laughs> and those are my devices. Uh, they're not uh, something that I've actually walked into a store or I ordered online, I pre-ordered, whatever. Those things are going to be there. Now, the majority of my channel now is going to feature sub-250 or sub-$300 phones. I want to make this shift because that is where I started. I started off reviewing phones that were very, very feature-rich but did not cost a lot of money. I was actually pretty successful with that era. But then once technology, technology is kind of funny, you know. Uh, it shifts every one to three months, it shifts, and there's something new dropping in. You have to keep up with it if you're running a YouTube channel. For those that think YouTube running a YouTube channel is very easy, uh, you're sadly mistaken. I challenge anyone who runs a YouTube uh, channel to say that it's easy, to at the level that me and up. Uh, it's not very easy at all. It takes a lot of your time, uh, and it can be very difficult uh, to maintain. So I used to do Monday Madness, and the, the truth is, the reason I switched to Monday Madness is because throughout the week, this channel was taking way too much of my time, and I just couldn't balance it. It, it was just unrealistic, so I had to shoot all my videos, and I had to set them for Mondays because it just was not realistic for what I was doing. I just couldn't maintain it. Um, at that time, I had a lot of content coming in. There were, I would, I'd still get lots of shipments. But honestly, um, there are certain people that I've hooked up with resources to, people always ask me, uh, can you hook me up with one of your resources? And I actually start, I, I have to get a feel for the YouTuber, but I've done that with two people already, and you know who you are, I won't say your names. I've done that with them, and they're getting stuff, and it's success for them, you know, it, whatever they consider success. Uh, it's not phones and things like that, but they're getting stuff that they weren't getting before because they didn't know about that resource. Uh, so I do that. I, I do 
you know, help people along the way. I've helped a lot of people get along on YouTube, and I'm a small fry, but I believe in that. But um, the shift in my channel, you're going to see sub 300, even lower than that, basically, because if you look back on my channel, the videos that were of phones that were not very pricey have thousands of hits and people enjoy it. You can hear it in the comments. Oh, I'm glad or you can read it in the comments. I'm glad you reviewed this because I don't want a thousand dollar phone. I can't afford to spend $700 on a phone. So I'm going to shift. So that's the disclaimer. If you see a high end device, it's probably something personal within my household that someone's using or I'm using more than likely. Uh, but primarily when you see my videos in 2016, I'm hoping to bring lots of content on devices that are sub 300. And I say 300 is a high number, um, but it really should be. I can get several devices that are 200 or less. And in that way, I can do feel more comfortable doing giveaways um, because people are unrealistic. When when you see giveaways from, from some of the other bloggers, they didn't buy those things. Companies are willing to give them to them just to help get their name out there or um, to buy it. And my giveaways, as always, are not very difficult. Just leave a comment, share the video, and you know, follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you want to. You don't have to follow five other people. I'm not teaming up with <laughs> this is this new thing for people to get views. You know, they want to share their channel, they want to get uh, follow me, James, Tony, Brian, follow all of us, then subscribe to all of our YouTube channels, subscribe to our Twitter, subscribe to our LinkedIn, subscribe to our Facebook, subscribe to our Instagram. Waste of time. And then it's an international giveaway, and then you never hear of the winner. Not knocking people who do that. I just think it's kind of silly. Just do the video, do the com one comment or however you want to do it, and especially when it's a bigger company, bigger than me, uh, why would you have the subscribers running around like that just to get an entry? Do an entry on the comments, boom, that's it. And then randomly pick somebody. It's just that simple. And that's the way I'm going to continue to do it. But I'm hoping to give you more content uh, and giveaways because I'll feel more comfortable spending $150 or $200 on something. And then it sat on my desk for two months, three months, or it's still relevant. Then I'll review it one more time then put it back in the box and then give it away to someone. That way I don't have to wait a full year or I won't wait a full year to do a giveaway. And throughout the year, I can, maybe I can do uh, four giveaways uh, every three months do a giveaway. That would be great. Every six months do a giveaway. I don't know. It just depends on how those videos, and here's the, okay, truth talking. It depends on how much money I can make off of those videos to recoup the cost of the phone. That's the reality of it. Some people might not want to tell you that, but I'm perfectly comfortable saying that. If I spend $150 on a phone and that video only makes $6, it's going to be very difficult for me to part with that and give it away, especially if it comes out of my own pocket, because what I'm going to do start going forward I'm just going to try to buy more devices as soon as they hit. If they're in the budget range, I'll try my best, whether it's Boost. Because um, remember a while back, I, I would do, uh, wasn't just doing unlocked phones. I was doing Boost mobile phones and, you know, just whatever. If it was really affordable, I would just go and get it and review it and then do a giveaway. I did that once or twice, I think, a couple years back. Uh, but I think um, that I'm going to try to bring you more content, more giveaways, um, just give you something different this year in 2016, because there are a lot of devices that are out there that cost less than $200, they cost less than $150, and they're really good. Uh, and you're gonna see one of those devices uh, uh, coming up very soon um, after this video, very soon after this video, and you're also gonna see a lot of content on that device heading into 2016. Do I still have Nexus 6 videos coming? Yes, Note 5, yes iPhone 6s plus, yes, iPhone 6s, yep, those are all going to still be there. But I don't want that to be the primary focus of my channel going forward in 2016 and beyond because there's going to be a, a shift in technology. Quote me on this. It's going to be a shift in technology to where you'll be able to get a quad HD display sub 249 bucks. It's going to happen. Now, the quality of that panel, uh, whatever it may be, uh, it's going to happen, thus creating a different line in, for YouTube videos. Because uh, right now, people, bloggers keep saying that the OnePlus X is a great buy for 250 bucks, but that's not cheap to a lot of people, or that's not a low cost to a lot of people. Even though I can afford to do that, I don't think that's a low cost. 
Low cost is 99 bucks and down, or 150 and down, not 250. Because uh, you have to add on your taxes, the net 250 turns into 270 dollars for a person like me. And it could be more for you or less for you, but it's not just 250 flat. Uh, you might have VAT fees, whatever. I don't know, but I'm going to try to give you that shift and and get to a point where you you're a regular end user like me, an average consumer like me. Yes, I'm more on the techie side, and I do run this channel. But I still love all tech, and uh, I feel like I've kind of neglected the people who really enjoy it. I've had people actually say in comments on an iPhone video or no five video or whatever, if that phone costs more than five hundred bucks, they're just like, "Hey Jay, what happened? You know, you used to review phones that were you know budget friendly, and that's what I liked about your channel." Well, I listened. I'm listening to you, and it hasn't just been been one person. It's been several different people saying, "You know, I really wish you would get back to doing some budget devices." budget-friendly devices that are uh, feature-rich but don't break the bank. And that's what I'm going to do. And if I can do that, and if, honestly, if I can survive off of purchasing out of my own pocket and then um, having uh, be able to buy several, if those videos do as well as I think they should do, those are just more giveaways. And it's not a scam because right now I'm giving away phones and giving away things that I've gotten free. And I've also given away phones that I've purchased myself. Uh, so in, in some of those videos, I didn't make much money at all. Um, and that's just the truth. Uh, but if it's a phone that's given to me and it's not like a super, it's not a phone that I can, I'm just being real. If it's not, if, if someone gives me a Galaxy S6, probably not going to give it away. I don't need a Galaxy S6. So I'm probably going to sell it, buy something else and put that money back into the channel or just keep the Galaxy S6 laying around and use it for test, uh, a, a battle videos or something. Uh, but if they give me a phone like the Cell Allure, a phone that I probably wouldn't buy. Nothing against sell allure, but I just wouldn't buy some of the phones. That, I think they're priced a little too high. Um, disclaimer to companies that send me devices. If you don't want the truth about how your device really operates, you probably don't want to send it to me. If you send me a device and I think it's overpriced, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell, tell the viewers that it's overpriced and I think they should wait or go get something else. That's just the way the business is. You, I'm not going to sell your product for you and lie to uh, consumers. So don't send me anything if you don't want me to tell the truth to my followers and anybody else who might click on that video. So take note of that. Uh, but there are some phones that I just wouldn't purchase and they're just, they would they just sit around. So I'm going to give them away. Um, nonetheless, um, I really appreciate the support that the channel gets and people, you, you might hear me say that, like if you comment on my video and I just happen to be online and you get a response within a matter of seconds, I just happen to be online editing something else and the pop-up comes up. So I switch over and reply real quick. Uh, but uh, I'm telling you that I appreciate the support because running a YouTube channel, uh, it's a, even though there's a lot of people out there commenting saying, oh, Jay, you know, wow, great job. There are more people that are leaving ugly comments racist comments. They have nothing to do with the product itself. Um, they're leaving ugly comments. They're name calling, just really childish and immature. And luckily, I'm, I don't have 5,000 emails a, a month, uh, probably have more like a thousand. Uh, so I'm able to control my comments and filter them. Some YouTubers don't filter them, but I do. So I'm able to filter out and get those off of my comment section prior to it even hitting. You, you'll be amazed how much time I spend to just going in and hitting delete on a comment and blocking a person, you know, and they can still watch people. If you block someone from your channel, they can still watch, um, but they won't be able to comment. You know, they won't get much interaction. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of time behind closed doors is what YouTube is about. YouTube has no filters. Now, they don't block out anything because they're getting money from ad revenue. So this is how it is. It's part of the game. What you will see going forward, I, I, I make this promise to try to bring you sub two to three hundred dollar phones, and uh, you will see uh, quad HD displays coming up soon that are going to cost less than three hundred bucks, uh, two fifty probably. So, it's your man Jay will. Um, that's the direction where I'm trying to go. Uh, you will see more vlogs. I've teamed up with Jay Johnson, and I've teamed up with Tony Pazzo in the past, and me and Jay are actually already going to work on something for you coming up here pretty soon. We'll post that video more than likely before, before New Year's or on New Year's Day. I don't know. Whatever we decide. But me and Jay are working on something for you. And uh, maybe I'll work with Tony again uh, if ever he decides to um, shout out and work with me again, whichever. It was fun. I like working with both of them. But me and Jay are working on something right now. So um, be on the lookout for that. And be on the lookout for something very special on my channel coming up extremely fast. So 
keep watching. It's your man J. Will. I'm at the 20 minute mark, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. I'm going to reach down and press stop. Peace.